gonna give all the praise, glory, honor, due to Yahweh Hashem Yahusha, by Hashem Rahakadash, the bond to the apostle, elders, and prophets who teach the words of sincerity and truth, which they lives for freedom to do so, and to the hopeful of that, that are scattered throughout the four corners of the globe, and to the confusion of faith, which join to our ranks, and to the Akim and Aqua after our listen and learning. To you I said shout a warm. This your brother Kennedy we're coming back at you with another lesson. You know, it's you know, it's, probably, it's gonna be probably entitled to part two or uh, WTF is wrong with Jake. The reason why, you know, this is gonna be part two of this lesson because one of the brothers lesson I was listening to on Sunday. You know, with brother Sean Moore when he did a live stream, you know, you had this uh bugged out, you know, is a is a nigga that kept interrupting the lesson. And, you know, I didn't really get too much chance to see it till, uh, you know, you know, earlier this morning because, you know, I was spending time with the family. And, and, and I'm just showing you, you know, uh, you know, Jake is, is far gone, man. Like it. You know, Jake is really far gone because he, this this guy was doing everything he can to try to disappoint the truth. And, you know, Brother Sean Moore did a great job on not only, you know, you keeping his composure, but also he would he would cut that you know, cut his ears and nigga up, you know, through the scriptures, man. You know, every time that every time that uh, you know, brother Sean Moore uh brought you know, trying to go in the scripture, this guy, you know, he kept being rude and kept being disrespectful. He kinda, he didn't want to hear what the Bible has to say because the Bible was, you know, was condemning everything that he, this guy was trying to say. And this guy was I believe he due to spirit he was a damn agent. Uh, he could be a chocolate covered Edomite, but you know, you know it is what it is. But you know, Spirit how about Shimmy how Shia is gonna deal with him, he, and he's gonna be marked for death, and he's gonna be marked for death on this side unless he repent and turn back to y'all about Shimmy how Shia. But I believe how about Shimmy how Shia ain't gonna lie and repent because he's gonna destroy him on this side. You know, Isaiah chapter one and verse three, it said, "The ox know his owner, and the ass is master crib." But Israel does not know. My people does not consider. They, they, they show you that, you know, the ox, the ox is not the smartest animal in the world. But he knows who his owner is. And, you know, the ass is it's a donkey. And he, and he knows his master crib. So these two are not the smartest animals in the world. But they have a recollection of knowing who their master is. And, they, and also the ass know his master's crib, know where his master stay at. But you know, it's very it's very strange that our people do not know you how about Shim Yah Shah and know you consider mean that, you know, now they don't know you how about Shim Yah Shah, they don't give a damn to wanna know who y'all you how about Shim Yah Shah is. But yet, you know, they claim they claim to believe that they know the truth, that they that they know that they love you how about Shim Yah Shah, but they don't because in the actions they they don't because when it's truth comes out. And, and when when our people when I when uh prophet bring the truth out to our people about who they are, you know our people would go hard against it. You know the scriptures say that they, they don't want to hear you know they don't want to hear the truth. You know they want uh they want our, they want the prophets you know the prophets out uh smooth things the prophets out to see you know something to that effect because uh what they you know they they want to, they want to hear smooth thing they want to hear their uh. You know, you know, you know, Jesus loves everybody. You know, everybody can go ahead when Jesus return. That everybody's gonna live on one accord, and, and he was gonna say Kumbaya and all his other madness. You know, Yahusha ain't dealing with these other nations. You know, according to Scripture, he's only gonna deal with one nation, and that's the Israelites. You know, starting with the whole four, that's the hundred four, four thousand and one third. You know, it shows you that uh, our people are far gone. And and one thing about it, you know, they got kept saying that. That we're Canaanites and you know we're Canaanites, and, and it's gonna show how far gone our people is. You know I dealt with you know on one of coming boys on what a Malcolm uh lesson. You know I I put up a scripture that you know Psalm sixty four eight. You know talking about you know he told me don't turn to fall upon themselves. And you had a bug that J came on and started talking nonsense and trying to and trying to say uh basically that the uh you know that the Edomites are Japheth pretty much you know. And then he went through scripture. They said that's not who a uh, Edomite was you know. Which, you know, that's scripture, you know, he born off an aspect, you know, they changed the word and they put Edomite there. It wasn't Edomite, you know, it's a it's a Syrian. You know, I was, you know, they were married Syrians or whatever. The reason why the most high had this crystal, they now that's not what basically a Syrian. You know, it's not an Edomite, it's a Syrian. But getting back 
we get him about the point, you know, the guy, you know, uh, he, he decided that he just go come to keep interrupting the lesson and keep, you know, he, he won not bring out any points. And, and Brother Sean Moore, you know, through very high by streaming outside, you know, kept bringing out scripture. You know, kept bringing out scripture, but yet this dude was there. You know, spirit, you have about sharing. I shout to bring, I'm bringing, go ahead and bring scripture out. It says that, uh, uh Bible chapter 1, 30, verse 7. It says that, that if, if uh, your how is beginning with knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction, you know, that's right. You know, you know that guy's a fool, man. He despises wisdom. He despises instruction. You know, he, he didn't figure out about sharing. I shout because this guy really going off. You know, he really saying that, uh, you know, that, you know, if like we, when our ears are like, well, the ham, I can't, 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 and, and and this guy does not have a real collection of who he is. So to how to destroy our people are. You know, our people are so destroyed because they, they hate with they hate knowledge, they hate trust, man. And, and it shows you how how far how far people are. In another church, it goes to Proverbs 11, 21. It's, it says, throw hands, join their hands. The wicked should not be unpunished, but the right should be delivered. And the guy, he's trying to say, it's a uh, slave master Esau. It's about, you know, trying to go out there and keep interrupting the lesson and, and trying to dis, dis, the box saying that we're not Israelites and we're, we're uh, you know, we're, we're following a false, you know, religion, which is like not a religion, it's a heritage. You know, this guy, you know, he's going off. You know what I'm talking about? He's going off real bad. You know, the most high is going to destroy him because that's right 13. They say two parts of our people and cut off and die. And the reason why the most high is bringing this group child because of our people, man. Our people don't have, don't want to know who you have about Jimmy House. They want to stay in this false religion. They want to stay in Christianity. They want to stay in all these other different religions that are put out there. And you know, the most high is going to destroy our people because our people, you know, they, they, they stiff and they hard. Let me get that in, in Acts chapter 7. You know, I just, you know, about, you know, let's before I did this one, you know, about the, about Acts chapter 7, you know, through spirit, you have about shit. I, you know, go ahead and bring, bring the, uh, Acts chapter 7. I'm not saying scripture, but, but we're going to go down one more scripture, you know. That we're going to go down one more verse, like about this. Uh, uh, verse 51. It says, You still there, uncircumcised and hardened ears. You do all resist the, resist the Holy, Holy Spirit as your fathers did. So did ye. Which of the, prophet, which of the prophets have you, have you not your father persecuted? And, and they that have slain them will show before they come of the just one whom ye have not been the betrayers and murderers. You know, uh, they were saying that, you know, our people are stiff necked and hard hearted. You know, our people always resist the power of the raw hook which is the Holy Spirit. Even when, even back in the time, you know, when Stephen would give his testimony, that, uh, you know, our people still resist the power of the Holy Spirit. You know, they, you know, they always resist the power of the Holy Spirit. And when you try to tell people the truth, you know, the thing that they do is continue to, um, you know, resist. You know, they always try to bring out scripture like John 3 16 for God's love of the world. And it was, it was a different worlds we're talking about, uh, you know, you got different worlds, but the world, you know, you how we're talking about, you know, what's up? What's up? You know, like, you know, the world that you all talking about was uh, Israel. You know, we got different worlds. You know, scriptures they also say that, you know, Israel is a world without an end. Yeah. And our people, you know, they always, you know, uh, both up against the truth. And they always try to so, so how white nations, you know, which is eat all eat And it's good to read, you know, Psalms, so, when I saw them, Proverbs 11, 1, 1, it said, don't hands on hand, they should not go unpunished. And, you know, you know, uh, hands on hand, they should not go all together, go unpunished. I mean, that, you know, our people are going to be short along with these damn media, my cause. And, you know, in their mind, they, they think they can say that, say that they're which they can't. And this guy's trying to do it as well, you know, on Sean Moore's live stream. You know, he's talking about the lesson, trying to make, trying to get us to dishonor our heritage, trying to say, oh, you father, you father, and oh, this guy, no, we're not father. Well, uh, yes, you know, brother Sean Moore, believe it's a prophet, y'all about shaming, y'all shot, but we're not father, man, we father spirit, y'all about shaming, y'all shot, because you got the brothers that stay on the street corners, y'all teaching the truth and, and sincerity, you know, they risk and they have free to do so. You also got brothers that's just putting up lessons, you know, do, on YouTube and on, and on different pages, you know, bringing out the truth. And, you know, you, how, how are you going to stop the truth? You know, you can't stop the truth, but you be for truth. You know, the scripture said that to, you know, something to that effect. You know, you got, if you be against you, you be for the truth, you know, something, something to that effect. And they got the, it was like, well, you can't stop the truth. They have a shame your child, which you can't stop. You know, they really they can't stop the truth. And the truth still going to keep going through spirit and power. You have a shame your child. And they got, you know, he, he going off. He's very bugged out. And that shows you how bugged out people is, how bugged out Jake is because, you know, the spirits are restless. And they see that Jake with trouble is pretty much here, but it's going to stop coming to full effect. And, you know, and they scared now. You know, they scared because they see that uh, spirit, uh, Esau, man, spirit of, you know, so-called Edomites is getting angry. They can ride up and they want to do, they, they want to do something to Jake. And, uh, and, it's, and you know, Jacob Trouble is going to intensify as, as, you know, time progresses. You know, as the time progresses, you know, Jacob Trouble is going to intensify. That spirit, how about shit? I said, I'm going to the, put the spirit upon the uh, Esau, you know, to start, you know, killing Jake. You know, they really are killing Jake now, but it's going to intensify, you know, time progresses because they, the kingdom is coming to the end. Babylon is falling. And, you know, and they lives have been revealed. So what else they got to do? They're going to revert back to their blessing, which is a sword. And, and you know, and you down down Jason, you're trying to say the devil, you're going to realize that, that uh, he's all not looking first, but he's going to use, you know, he's going to use you to try to uh, disrupt this truth of what the Israelites are bringing out, but he's not able to stop it. And, and uh, for you to know, 
that this guy that kept in row lesson, you know, you're going to worry about Esau Edom. If you're not destroyed by Esau Edom, you're going to be destroyed with the thermonuclear missile because we interrupt the prophets and they trying to bring out scripture. You're going to keep being disrupted. You don't want to hear the truth. And you just march yourself. You march yourself to death on this side. Whether it's going to be about, you know, death by the hand of Esau, or by death in the hand of, uh, you know, your own brother Jake, or, you know, death by via thermonuclear missile. You already march yourself unless you repent. And turn back to the lost that screaming shout by Shim Mount Shout, which we know that you're not, because you know most I don't want to and it's not dealing with you. You know, it's just for a lesson. I want to say all praise to the most high. Y'all by Shim Mount Shah, to the unto the apostle of the prophet teaching the words to say the truth. And you also and to the hopeful left, which got through the four corners of the globe, and to the uh, confusion of faith, and also to the Akim and Aqua that I listen and learn. Till next time, y'all willing, shout one.